Okay, let's look at Doxa Inch Exercise 22, question 3. An indicator, H indicator, which is a covalent molecule, is added to water. H in is red and its conjugate base is yellow. The pH sensitivity range of this indicator is between 6.4 and 7.2. Okay, so this means that between 6.4 and 7.2, it's going to go from red to yellow. So let's have a look. Will this ionize or dissociate motivate your answer? Well, it says to you that H in is a covalent molecule, okay? So covalent molecules must ionize to dissolve. So covalent molecules must ionize in water as they do not already have ions, okay? So covalent molecules are not ionic, and what happens is the little polar water molecules come up to them, and they break this bond between the hydrogen and whatever the indicator rest of the molecule is. So the polar water molecules split it up. Write down a balanced equation for the reaction in question 3.1. So we've got H indicator, okay, which does not want to remain with a capital I. And this one is going to be a reversible dissociation reaction. So let's put the reversible arrow in here. And it's going to ionize into a proton and an indicator okay so neutral on the left it's now neutral on the right so if the proton is positively charged the indicator must be negatively charged so as far as I'm concerned this is the balanced equation but now I want to use this for my own purposes to answer the rest of the questions so it says to you HN is red okay and this part is yellow so the conjugate base, IN minus, is yellow and HN is red. So it says, which color will this indicator be if added to a sodium hydroxide solution? So now, explain your answer using Le Chatelier. What's inside sodium hydroxide? Sodium hydroxide contains hydroxide ions, okay? Sodium hydroxide is NaOH. So if you add, okay, OH minus to this liquid solution, okay, this indicator solution, the OH minus will remove the H plus. I wonder if this reaction is supposed to be H indicator plus H2O goes to H3O plus. That might be the more correct way to write this because I'm showing it's um, hydrolysis with water, sorry. Okay, I just thought about that now, sorry. Okay, so if we have a look here, if we add the hydroxide ion to the solution, the hydroxide ion is going to remove the protons or the hydronium ions from this, okay? Um, they'll form water, because it's just basically a neutralization reaction. But we remember an indicator is a weak acid. So we've taken these protons out solution so this disturbs the equilibrium, yes, because we are now removing products, okay? This disturbs the equilibrium by removing the products of the ionization, okay? And then if we remove the products, the forward reaction is favored, okay? The forward reaction is favored, because think about that, if you remove a product from a reaction, it favors the forward reaction. And so, if the forward reaction is favored, and so the solution turns yellow. So it's going to be yellow. Okay, which color will this indicator be if it is added to an aqueous solution of an ammonium chloride salt? Explain your answer. So now in my brain, I know ammonium chloride in... H4Cl, okay, so this is ammonium chloride. What happens when you add the ammonium ion, okay? The ammonium ion, this dissociates to produce what? Protons, okay? No, don't do that. Okay, so the ammonium chloride ion, what happens when this goes into water? We produce 
NH4 plus and Cl minus, okay? And then the NH4 plus, this ammonium ion, is in equilibrium with NH3. So the ammonium breaks down into ammonia and a proton. So if we're adding protons, okay, the reaction is going to want to shift to remove it, and then it's going to go back to red, okay? Ammonium chloride, so let's write this nicely. Ammonium chloride dissolves in water to produce, now the chlorine ion's a spectator ion, yes? So the ammonium ion, I'm not formatting this, okay. Ammonium chloride dissolves in water to produce ammonium ions, which um, are, what do you want to say, equilibrium decompose, which are in equilibrium with ammonia and a proton, okay? The addition of these protons drives, which are a product in the reaction, which are a product, product in the indicator reaction. So the addition of the protons, which are product in the indicator reaction, drive the reverse reaction to occur. So the solution becomes red as more HIN forms. forms. Come back here, little cursor. Okay, so it's going to be red when you put in ammonium chloride, but yellow when you put in sodium hydroxide because the sodium hydroxide removes the protons and the ammonium adds the protons. Now it says to you, which color will this indicator be if it is added to an aqueous solution of the salt that is produced during the reaction of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide? So this is a strong acid and a strong base, okay? Strong acid plus strong base gives you what? A neutral salt, okay? So a neutral salt of pH equal to 7. So this is in the middle of the sensitivity range. So the color is going to be in the middle, okay? So it will be, the indicator will be orange as neither the forward nor the backward reaction are favored. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's a neutral salt. So the moment you've got a neutral salt, that's what happens.